Hello, today I'm going to explain the differences between the upper confidence bound and Thompson sampling algorithms. Both of them are reinforcement learning algorithms. We have already talked about them in previous videos, and today I'm just going to mention the differences between those these two algorithms. And you know, we also have used it in the on the uh, what is the name of the problem? The moat moat armed bandit problem. We have used these both algorithms to solve that, that kind of problem. And today I'm going to just explain the differences between these two algorithms. Okay, so this is just an image for you to remember, uh, remember about the UCB algorithm, the upper confidence bound algorithm, and this is for the Thompson sampling algorithm. And this is the only slide that we are going to go through in this video. So the first difference between these two algorithms is that this first, the UCB, is deterministic while the Thompson sampling is probabilistic. Meaning that every time you run UCB you are going to get the same re same result. But every, every time you run the Thompson sampling algorithm, even though using the same data set, you are going to get different results because it is a probabilistic algorithm. And that causes consequences. A consequence for this to be deterministic is that it requires update at every round. So what do I mean by that? In a real-world scenario you would have let's say 10,000 clicks per hour let's say in an ad for example and if you want to update your algorithm each time a user click in an ad that's going to be very expensive to do. Um, computationally speaking. Therefore, it's not such a, such a possibility to update it at each click. But if you do not update it at each click, you are going to have a problem. Because the UCB algorithm always selects the machine with the highest upper bound. And if you do not update this highest upper bound, you are always going to select the same machine and that's going to be problematic <laughs> okay you are going to get stuck like in the same machine for a while and after you you leave that that halt and then you are going to have some problems because this machine would have been selected many times already while whereas whereas in Thompson simply you can accommodate delay feedback so as it is a probabilistic algorithm, it's not going to always select uh, the best distribution. Because, you know, we mentioned that we have already talked about this, so you know that sometimes you can have a sample falling down here and the green sample may fall up here, therefore you are going to select the green distribution instead of the yellow distribution. It's less likely, but that can happen. So you are not going to get stuck as you would get here. Here you would definitely always select this machine, whereas here that's not the case. It's more likely that you would select the best machine, but it's probabilistic, so it's not going to be always that case. And that's good, because then you you end up not, not getting stuck and not getting like addicted to the for, to the always the same machine. And you can keep exploiting and exploring at the same time as the clicks come in. So instead of having to update this uh, instantly at each click, you can delay the feedback. So you can like uh, update your distributions once you have reached, let's say, 500 clicks. While if you do it this here, you would have problems because you would be selecting maybe the best machine or maybe you could be selecting the wrong machine and you would have you would be losing money and you would be los losing um, exploration as well exploration and expo exploitation you would be losing if you do not update instantly you can update update it instantly if you have the computational power to do that but it's usually quite expensive to do that so 
that's that's good. That's a good thing for the Thompson sampling because you can delay feedback. So once you have a batch of 500 clicks, you can update your algorithm. And while your algorithm is not updated, you can still be exploring because you know it it is a probabilis probabilistic uh, algorithm. So not always it's going to select the same machine, even though you are not updated constantly. I think you got the idea. And the last thing is that Thompson sampling has a better empirical evidence. So you usually see bad, better results with Thompson sampling. I can't find any downside for the Thompson sampling algorithm, but there may, there may be some. But for the bended, you know, I, I haven't uh, created a video about explaining the Thompson sampling in the mode armed problem, mode armed bended problem yet. But I have already implemented it, and uh, I know that the Thompson sampling um, did better than UCB at least on the that specific problem, the mode arm bended problem. So overall, I think Thompson sampling algorithm is better than UCB. It can accommodate delay feedback, and it has better empirical evidence. So you will find research, yeah, research that was made by doctors and master's degree and so on, that will show that Thompson sampling has better empirical evidence compared to UCB. So overall, I think it's a better idea to stick with Thompson sampling instead of UCB. However, you may find some applications that probably maybe, I don't know, <laughs> the UCB is a better option for some reason. But the professor in the course that I'm taking, he only mentioned these um, things here, which makes sense. And yeah, maybe it is more a little bit more computationally expensive to get a value from a distribution. Maybe not. I don't think so, because we have some formulas in UCB as well. So maybe the computational power is the same thing. If you do big O notation, it's going, probably going to be the same thing, because you have two, two for loops in each of these. So. So yeah, that's the difference between UCB and Thomson sampling. One is deterministic, another one is probabilistic, and that, cons that as a consequence, you, if you try to update it frequently in UCB, it's going to be quite computationally expensive. It's also going to be computationally expensive to do the same thing uh, in Thompson sampling algorithm. However, in Thompson sampling algorithm, if you don't do that and if you delay the feedback, you will not have such uh, drastic consequences compared to UCB. And furthermore, Thompson sampling also has better sampling evidence. That's it. Bye-bye.